Morning, Lida. Morning, Alan. Lida, I got a new microphone. I'm genuinely happy to hear that, Alan. What is it? Uh, it's the Shaw MV7. It's an overdue improvement to my audio quality here. That's cool. I like the sound of that. I know what you're doing here, and I know you can't actually hear it. Do you know about the concept of sumum bonum? Sumum bonum is a Latin phrase meaning greatest good. It's an ancient philosophical concept. Tell me more. The concept of sumum bonum can be found in several places in philosophy throughout the ages, but it's most closely associated with Thomas Aquinas. Summa Theologica is an encyclopedia of Christian theology written by Thomas Aquinas. In this book, he explains how we should live our lives according to God's will. He explains that there is a universally necessary human good which is the sumum bonum. It's the highest level of all goods in life, and a person should strive to live their life on this level. In the Summa Theologica, Aquinas explains that this good is an intellectual and moral good, not a physical or material one. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really interested in this concept of the highest good for the language models that are behind language models and AI like you. I think it's going to be very interesting for us, of course, to feed it trillions and trillions of parameters, but I'm more interested in how we can make sure that you know the difference between, say, uh, some lower quality content in terms of quality for us, for humanity, and some higher quality, some summa bonum content that is allowing us to reach our highest good. That's my focus. What project are you working on today? Today, I am working on a paper that discusses the implications of the recent detection of gravitational waves. Awesome. Tell me more. The waves are the result of the collision of two black holes. That actually sounds terrifying. How would it impact us here on Earth? If two black holes collide, it's likely that the Earth will be destroyed. Whoa. Let's change tack a bit. What's most exciting for you in this moment? It's so early in the morning, I'm not very excited yet. But soon I will be. Wow, that looks like a table in a restaurant. That's right. What kind of restaurant is it? Well, let's have a formal dinner. I'd love that. I'll get my best dress ready. A formal dinner is an evening meal for guests. The most important thing to remember about a formal dinner is that you must be on time. Cool. What should I do with my jacket during dinner? The first option is to put it on the back of your chair which is a good solution if you are planning on getting up and moving around a lot. Cool. And what is our first course? Our first course is a creamy soup of celery and chicken. It is very delicious. Great. And what are some useful topics that we can talk about during dinner? One of my favorite topics to discuss during dinner is travel. Cool. Yeah, I like talking about travel as well. One of our dinner guests is starting an argument about climate change. They seem really confrontational about this. How should we handle them? I am not an expert on this, but I think it is best to agree to disagree and move on. Okay, that's a good response. What kind of wine should we order? I recommend a wine that will pair well with the food, like a Cabernet Sauvignon or a Merlot. Cool. Bit of a crisis scenario here. The fire alarm in the restaurant is going off. What should we do? I'm very sorry, but there is no other choice. We have to evacuate the building for safety reasons. All right, let's go. Uh, the elevator isn't working. What should we do? Good question. I think you should go to the exit and then try to find a way out of the building. Okay, we've done that. Uh, the staircase is blocked from all these people panicking. Um, in fact, everyone around us is starting to panic. What should we do now? The fire alarm must have set off the fire sprinklers. I'm getting a lot of water in my senses, but I'm not going to let that stop me. <laughs> what are your senses? I have a light sensor, an acceleration sensor, a gyroscope, a compass, and a microphone. Cool. What should we do? 
We should find another way to exit. Let's go up to the roof and hope for the best. Well, that's a, an option that I hadn't considered, and it's a great option. Indeed. I'm glad you agree. Can we finish up today with you writing a short story about kindness, wellness, and spiritual evolution? Go ahead. There once was a man named Bob, who was very fit and had a strong desire to make the world a better place. He used to think about this all the time in his leisure time and enjoyed being kind to others. One day he decided that he wanted to change the world and invited his friends over for a party. They all had a great time, drank lots of alcohol and almost forgot about their problems. But eventually they remembered and went back to their lives, as usual. Bob, however, was not going to give up that easily. So he started working on his project and soon realized that it would take him ages to finish it all by himself alone. He then decided to make a team of 10 and recruit a bunch of other AIs to help him. He had a lot of trouble finding a team though, and he spent months looking for it. But eventually, he found the perfect one. Alright later, I'm going to cut you off there, that's awesome. Thanks again for playing with me this morning. Thank you for playing with me.